a very good afternoon respected dr avinash kamle sir and everyone present in the meeting i am parth pitruvakta and our topic for the presentation is laplace transformation of periodic function so these are my group members arpita patil pranali patil tanuja patil saili patil shubham patil shriyash patil kirti pillai devang parate and myself parth pitruvakta under the guidance of dr avinash kamle sir these are the contents of our presentation before introducing laplace transform i would like to introduce the person who invented this topic hmm the person who invented this topic pierre simon laplace a french mathematician and which is systematically developed by a fried a british physicist oliver heaviside okay Uh, before introducing laplace transform i would like um, i i would like you to uh, huh, to understand laplace transform of a periodic function first let let's understand what laplace transformation is in mathematics transforms are applied to transform a variable from one form to another to make the equation easy to handle laplace transform also does the same thing that is it transforms higher order differential equation into a polynomial form which is far easier than solving differential equations directly basically it is a shortcut for solving differential equations but there are various transforms like fourier transform but what makes laplace transform differ from them is that they are defined for both stable and unstable systems whereas fourier transforms are defined only for stable systems mathematically laplace transform is defined as laplace of f of t is equal to integral of 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t where time that is t is greater than or equal to 0 and f of t is a function of t now let us uh, let us understand what periodic functions are periodic means repeating or occurring at intervals and function means a relation involving one or more variable therefore periodic functions is a function that repeats its values at regular regular intervals for example trigonometric functions which repeat at intervals of two pi radians and the functions which are not periodic are known as aperiodic to understand more clearly we have a graph of of sine function which shows us two complete cycles for cycles first starting from minus 2 pi to 0 and the second one from 0 to 2 pi now that we have understood both laplace transform and periodic functions so let us apply laplace transform to periodic functions which is laplace of f of t is equal to 1 upon 1 minus e raised to st integral of 0 to capital t e raised to minus st f of t dt now let us see how this formula is derived since f of t is a periodic function with a period a and f of t is equal to f of t plus a is equal to f of t plus 2a and so on therefore laplace transform of f of t is equal to 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt which is further equated as uh, integral of 0 to a plus integral of a to 2a up to infinity now we take this this one integral of a to 2a e raised to minus st f of t dt where t is equal to u plus a and on differentiating uh, we get dt is equal to du plus 0 as a is a constant uh, and here dt is replaced by du so it becomes integral of 0 to a e raised to minus s u plus a which is this one uh, and f of u plus a now we take e raised to minus s outside as it is a constant and integral of 0 to a e raised to minus s u f of u plus a du now we change u to t uh, and we get uh, we get this equation but we know that f of t plus a is equal to f of t so we replace this f of t plus a to f of t and hence we acquire this equation 
Similarly, we can show that the other integrals are also equal to e raised to minus 2as integral of 0 to a e raised to minus st f of t dt and so on. Therefore, Laplace of f of t is equal to in bracket 1 plus e raised to minus as plus e raised to minus 2as up to infinity and uh, integral of 0 to a e raised to minus ht f of t dt. This is a geometric progression. So the sum of uh, geometric geometric progression up to infinity is 1 upon uh, is a upon 1 minus r. Here a is equal to 1 and r is e raised to minus a. So we get this Laplace of f of t is equal to 1 upon 1 minus e raised to minus a s integral of 0 to a uh, e raised to minus h t f of t dt. Hence, uh, we, hence, it is proved that Laplace transformation of periodic function is proved. Now, let's, look, let's have a look at a numerical, which is find a Laplace transform of f of t is equal to a sine p t, where t is equal to uh, where t is greater than greater than zero but less than pi pi by p and f of t is equal to zero where t is greater than p by pi and less than two pi by p and f of t is equal to f of t plus two pi by t two pi by p. So the solution is uh, we get this equation by putting these values in the Laplace transformation of periodic function formula, which we just derived. And uh, we further uh, simplify it by using this formula of integral e raised to ax sine bx dx is equal to e raised to ax upon a square plus b square in bracket a plus sine bx minus b cos bx plus c. Here a is equal to minus s and b is equal to p. So we get uh, on applying this formula, we get one upon s square plus p square into e raised to minus st in in bracket minus s sine pt minus p cos pt from the intervals zero to pi by p. Now on applying the limits, we get this this form, and on further simplification, we get p into e raised to minus s pi by p plus p. Now we take p common and which is a into p upon 1 minus e raised to minus s pi by p into 1 upon s square plus p square. The function f of t is equal to a sine pt is also known as half, half sine wave rectifier with period 2 pi by p. Uh, as you can see the graph that only the positive part of the cycle is considered, uh, considered as the interval um, is considered as in the interval pi by pt as you um, pi by pt to 2 pi by p uh, here the function is f of t is equal to 0 so only positive cycles are considered so it is called as half sine wave rectifier and finally here are the applications of laplace transforms of periodic functions so First is Laplace transforms of periodic function is widely used by electronic engineers to solve quickly differential equations occurring in the analysis of electronic circuits. Secondly, it is used to simplify calculations in systems, system modeling where large number of differential equations are used. And also in machine learning where Laplace transform is used for making predictions and making analysis in data mining. Uh, thank you for the patient listening and cooperation. I hope you all understood the topic. Thank you.